All right, so the house is all packed up. That's the easy part. That's like 10 minutes. Heading to Hawaii tomorrow. Uh, baby kiteboarding gear, camera gear. I spent some time, got all the kites and stuff packed up last night. It took me 10 minutes to pack my clothes, but now comes the fun part. All the camera gear. Definitely gonna need the big bag for this trip. I have a ton of Nikon gear to pack. I'm gonna have to kind of figure out what I'm gonna take, but I'm definitely taking my D810 and my D750. This little Sony is the A6300. They're coming out with a new one. They're coming out with an A6500, but I'm still having a ton of fun with the A6300. It's like a little secret weapon. This thing takes such amazing photos. So little, uh, works great when I'm just gonna be in the airport, on the plane, taking pictures of Pike, going out to dinner, whatever. This is like the little killer secret weapon. When you're taking the Sony, it eats batteries. I wish Sony, dear Sony, make the batteries just a little bit bigger. I don't care if the camera's a little bigger, it just sucks to have to change batteries so often. Uh, let's see. Definitely gonna wanna do some panoramic mergers while I'm there. So I'll definitely take this, uh, this complex panoramic merger adapter kit. So filters. I'm definitely taking my standard set of polarizers and UV filters to protect, you know, if I'm working around salt water. But I'm also taking this really cool new set of filters that I'm testing, uh, these Hoya infrared neutral density filters. They're supposed to be really, really high end, like almost no color shift all the way up to 10 stops. I'm excited to do some, some fun uh, long exposure stuff with you know, tide, tide pools and rocks. It's gonna be, gonna be a blast. Hawaii's the perfect place for it. It's like bags are half the fun of all this stuff. Cool little kit for mounting a GoPro to the car. It's just a giant suction cup. Speaking of GoPros, got the new Hero 5 Black and this fun new gimbal. I'm gonna be probably doing a whole video about that. It's like I want it, but I don't know. This will carry on me. Maybe, maybe not. God, definitely put that. That can go in. This stuff. Hmm. I get myself in trouble because sometimes I put more weight in here than I really personally should. Urgh. Am I gonna need a flash? Eh. Let's see. Hmm. Filters. Filters, filter adapters, batteries, batteries. Oh, there's more batteries. I know there's more batteries. Chargers. You're screwed if you forget your chargers. An intervalometer for the Sony in case I want to do some time lapse. This kind of sucks it's not integrated in the camera. There's another battery to charge. Awesome. Ooh, memory cards. Gotta make sure you have your memory cards. One thing I always have when I'm out shooting, and we are always out in landscape photography in the really good light, so you're out there until it gets pitch dark. Sometimes you wanna shoot stars. This headlamp, I love, because when you click it, one click, it just turns on a red light. Click it again, red light goes off. You don't blow your eyes out in a dark scene by putting the white light on. You actually have to hold the button down to get to your white light. Absolutely love it. It's a Princeton Tech Viz. Things are awesome. That's in the bag. I always take these things with me, these little uh, Zeiss lens wipes. They're like an alcohol swab. You pop these packets open, you tear it open like an alcohol swab. They're cheap. They're treated with the stuff that won't leave any smearing on your lens. It gets all the oil and crap off. All of a sudden you get a nice clean lens. Uh, I gotta break down the tripods. Urgh. Let's see, where was it? God, you gotta refigure all this stuff out every freaking time. Oh, come on, there we go. Like a padded case for a tripod head. Boom. That leaves me 
with my amazing old long gitso. So this one actually goes really long. You know what? Jeez, I could probably, there's still room on that. Hmm, maybe I could do it. I should try that. Is that possible? This is like the stupidest way to do this on the planet. <laughs> Snug. Boom. Thought I could get it in there. Uh, all right, I'll be back in a sec. This bag has been with me, God, twice to Africa, the Arctic, Denali, Patagonia. Put camera support stuff in here. Uh, what is that way already? Jesus. This thing is worth its weight in gold. It works in kilograms, it works in pounds, weigh your luggage here, or there, just loop it on, weigh it, it's awesome. 42 pounds of camera support. That's almost a bag there, we'll just put some clothes in that. These are all the clothes I'm taking on the trip for 10 days. Oh, you know what? This is all kites. I packed these kites last night. And this is more kite gear. That bag's 50 pounds, I'm pretty sure. Trick with this bag is it says golf on the side. I don't know if you can see that. Golf. If you check something on the plane that says golf on it, they don't charge you anything. Well, they, they may charge you the $25 bag fee, but they don't charge you that like extra $100 that they charge for kite boards. That's my two bags. I still got two bags for Stacy and, and uh, well, Pike doesn't get any bags. He carries on a lap, so. This trip is gonna be fun. What might I be forgetting? Oh yeah, the uh, Sony a7S needs to go.